everybody so today is actually super early for me i usually wake up like around noon but it's actually like 8 a.m right now so <laughs> very early for me but that's why i am here standing outside of tom and tom's coffee because i'm looking for a good place for brunch or some coffee and some breakfast pastries so let's go inside this place and check it out all right guys as you enter this place wow it is so spacious Ooh, look at all these pastries Wow, bulgogi stuffed pretzels. That looks so good. They also got bread and pizzas available, and they have all these goodie snacks ready on the counter for you. Right. Right. Really cool place to kind of like just chill. They got, of course, free Wi Fi, and I think their plugs here it's got USB ports. So if you want to come here to study and just relax, really cool place to do so. Um, and it looks like their menu, they have these huge toasts. Oh my god, they look so good. Definitely gonna try some of that. All right guys, I'm actually gonna be sitting outside because um, I, I don't know, I don't feel like it's too hot. Like a lot of people are like, oh my god, it's so humid, it's so hot, Houston summer, but I like the outside weather. So we got some of their drinks here. It looks amazing. We got a Vietnamese coffee. We got their taro latte, which looks beautiful. Look at that. Um, we got one of their matcha tomachinos. It's not frappuccino, it's tomachino. And they also have, I got a strawberry smoothie. You guys know I love strawberries, so those are my drinks. I'm waiting for some of my food to come out and we're gonna eat a very delicious brunch. Actually, I'm gonna try some of the uh, strawberry smoothie right now. Mmm, wow, it's so milky, it's so creamy. That's really good. Here it comes, guys. Wow. Nutella chocolate bread. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Very Danish and a cinnamon roll. Thank you so much. You're so very welcome. Got some napkins and silverware. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. All right, guys, this spread of food looks incredible. That looks so good and so warm. Oh my goodness, cannot wait to dig in. All right, guys, so let's get started on the food here. This one looks extra good. I'm gonna try this one out. We got some of their mustard sauce here as well. Let's put that in there. You know what this reminds me of is um, there's the uh, the sausage on a stick at Bucky's with that tortilla wrapped around it. This is what it's, it's kind of similar to. Mm. Really like it. It's like their own version of a hot dog. I think this drink looks so pretty. This is the uh, Taro Latte. Oh my god. It's so good. It tastes just like Taro Milk Tea. I actually want another one of this. This is actually 10 out of 10. Ooh. Vietnamese coffee. Really good. All right. Next up, we got their savory dish here. This is the uh, stuffed pretzel. Mm. Smells like a cheesy bread. Mm. Oh wow. I totally forgot. I got the uh, sweet potato flavor.
A sweet potato filling almost is like green. Almost tastes like a uh, custard filling. It's really good. Mm. I don't like ranch. I actually like the uh, mustard dip better. Yeah, the mustard dip with sauce is actually good. I love that strawberry shake. I love strawberry smoothies. I don't know if you guys know that. Alright, fruit smoothies. I usually, um, at home, when my mom cuts, cuts up a lot of fruit, I love making myself smoothies. Ooh, that matcha tomatino, really good. And I feel like strawberry is such a, like, a good base for like a lot of good drinks and banana banana and strawberries for like smoothies are like it's so hard to go wrong with them I love croissant bread. Yeah. Croissant bread is so good. It's so flaky, buttery, crunchy. You know what needs? It needs some milk. So I grew up, one of the common breakfasts for me with my family was um, croissant bread. We get those big Costco boxes, and my grandpa would heat up the croissant and heat up some milk. I would dip the croissant in milk. I don't really try it, it's really good. This is the closest thing I have to milk, so I'm gonna dip it in some of the uh, taro latte. croissant bread soaks up the flavor the milk make it extra creamy and soft that's so good soak it a little bit so it gets a little bit softer because you know this is a a really common asian breakfast is like called yo -tiao. chinese breakfast called yo -tiao, which is like a fried flour stick and you did that in soy milk so that's the, I ate that a lot too growing up so I'm used to dipping bread in like some kind of milky texture mm. oh it's so good and I, I like this pairing the um, taro milk taro latte is like taro milk 
so it's got like a flavored creaminess to it. It pairs really well. Mmm. Wow. That soaked up so much of the latte. You bite into it, and it's just so juicy. Hey, it's so weird to hear, but croissant is juicy. That's what it tastes like. Mm. Oh my god. That is so good. Okay. Here's a cinnamon roll. Look how big the cinnamon roll is. More croissant bread, I think. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god, look how big it is. I just kind of roll the cinnamon roll. Ooh, that tastes good. I've never tried dipping cinnamon roll before. Let me see if that works. I really thought there was going to be a huge clash between the cinnamon and taro, but... Wow, that flavor combination actually turned out a lot better than I expected. That's pretty good. Maybe there used to be like a taro cinnamon drink. I never had that before. really dope. I'm gonna try this next time. Get some warm bread, warm milk, and dip it in there. It's really good. I think this is why dunking never bothered me because I grew up eating like this. Like the yotel and soy milk that I told you about, that that uh, dish, like that's how you're supposed to eat it. You're supposed to dip the bread in the milk. So I grew up eating stuff like that. So all the dunking and stuff that competitive eaters do to like eat, make food eat faster, like it doesn't bother me because I'm like so used to it. It's not the same thing, obviously, because you know, dunking in water is nowhere the same as dunking it in milk, but. I guess like the same idea. Dude. This, this is, this is, this is, dude. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I never thought I would like find, oh yes, awesome. Thank Sorry. you, just leave it on the side over there. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I never thought I would find a combination like this. this is so good.
All right, cinnamon rolls and taro milk. It's my new favorite. Oh my God. And you know how the middle of the cinnamon roll is the softest? Dude. Hard to go wrong with Nutella. I feel like Nutella with anything is just cheating because if you're a fan of Nutella, like essentially you're just eating a freaking Nutella. I just I can't eat Nutella straight out straight out of the jar. It's so good. makes me miss China. I remember um, when I went to China last time, long time ago, this is like, I'm talking about like at least eight years ago. With my family. I remember like the first day there. My dad would um, take our family out for a walk. You know how in Asia there's a lot of street food? So he went to a uh, street food vendor that was selling breakfast. Oh my god, so cute. I don't know why I remember the scene so vividly. We were sitting on a bench, and I just see my dad coming up to us with like bags of. So they sell the soy milk in a bag. I know it's weird. They don't sell it in cups. They sell the soy milk in the bag. So it was like bags of soy milk and a box of like bows, and then also a bag of the fried flower sticks that I told you guys about. I don't know, I don't, I don't even, I just, I remember that so vividly. I just thought it was like the cutest thing ever, seeing my dad come into us with like an arm full of food. I was there alone, it was like the sweetest thing ever. Oh my God, it's so, oh my God, it's so sweet. I love my dad. <laughs> He's such a troll too. That's how, that's why I get my humor from, I think. We both, um, kind of crude but like we mean our trolliness in like the nicest way i don't know how to explain it it's a daddy huang thing <laughs> yeah now the way we drink those soy nuts in the back was um i just dropped whipped cream on my ankle <clears throat> Oh, they give you a bag of soy milk, and they give you a straw, and you just poke a stick in this bag of soy milk. bottom of the toast, I soaked up all the flavor. It's like soft. So it's kind of like the texture. When I dip the bread in the milk, it's really good.
brought out so I, I i guess it came later it took a little bit longer to cook but this is their uh, hawaiian pizza they put it they serve it on a tortilla mm. not bad kind of tastes like a quesadilla I really wish it came out earlier. Do you ever get that feeling where it's like, is it kind of weird? You're eating savory and it's sweet and it's savory again. Like your body is like, make up your mind. Are you trying to end the meal or are you trying to start another meal? So I woke up early, I had a good breakfast, it's a good fuel. I'm gonna go for a run like at a park or something. So this tour in particular, I've been a lot, lot more strict about how I'm managing uh, my exercising and stuff. So every like little break I get, every moment I chance I get, I definitely go out for a run or a walk, at least. And then um, I actually, in my suitcase, well, so here's what happened. Before I would carry my makeup supplies in my suitcase, but now I got a separate bag for my makeup. So I, I, it freed up some space in my um, suitcase. So with that extra space, I actually put in um, a pair of weights. So at the Airbnb, if it's late at night and you know it's too scary to go out to walk or whatever, I'm editing videos. A lot of free time, I'm just doing my reps, working out. So I invested in um, a pair of weights to take around with me. And I think it's been very beneficial. And you're not going to notice a difference because I'm not trying to build muscle. But maybe you can tell. Maybe I'm showing off a little bit. If uh, you can see my shoulders are a little bit more toned. It's because I'm doing arm weights. <laughs> I'm not going to be a big muscle person. I have, I have like absolutely no upper body strength whatsoever. I was, um, I had some fans visit me in one of my events, and, um, she wanted me to take a picture with her, and she had a baby, and she let me hold her baby, and I'm like, oh my god, I am so weak, I can barely hold the baby, and it's not, it's not a big baby either, I'm just weak. So, you know, I'm there, like, trying to take a picture. I, I mean, granted, I was also really full, so I was, like, a little bit nauseated, like, trying to hold the baby. But, like, my arms are so weak. And the worst part is, like, um, the baby was kind of standing on me a little bit, so some of its weight was kind of balanced onto my leg. So I couldn't even, like, hold it from, like, the butt up. Like, that weight on my arms, I was just, like, trying to take a picture. I was like, oh. A 
I'm just really weak. Which I, I don't like, I don't care. I don't really mind it. I just know I'm weak. <laughs> and so it's not like I'm curling like 50 pounders, okay? I'm like curling like maybe like five. Like five. But just like it's more reps than more sets. Wait. I'm just doing more so then like my arms tone out, right? You know what? Never mind. I don't I don't know like I'm not I'm not a fitness trainer, okay? I'm just doing what I think makes me feel good about my body and then I think that's fine, okay? And I'm trying to do my best to work out as much as possible and just as long as I feel good, that's all that really matters. Okay? And I think you guys should follow that advice. Just worry about what makes you feel happy. But anyway, so that was all the food here that I've tried out at Tom and Tom's. It was incredible. I really, really, really enjoyed that hot dog at the beginning. Um, it was just such an interesting take on their store of hot dog, and I really like how the bread wrapped around. It was just warm, soft. It was great. Mm. But see how chill it is, right? I'm just like chilling, and I'm just chilling outside. And then inside, you know, they got the USB ports. They sell USB chargers too if you like forget your charger. And then you know, free Wi-Fi. I love any place with free Wi-Fi. Actually, on some of the uh, some of the tour, since I'm on the tour, you know, I'm always on the go, and some places don't have good connection. I always look up, you know, nearest place with the Wi-Fi. I go and steal their Wi-Fi anyway. So, come here, st steal the Wi-Fi and just chill. Use the internet. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had a great experience eating all this food. Um, but if you visit, let them know I sent you. This is the Galleria location in Houston, Texas. They have a few other locations too, I believe. But this is the one I visited and. Oh, right, you guys. Well, that was such a great breakfast slash brunch. Um, really good start to my morning. I also got some other snacks to go. Yay, you can find delicious snacks there. I got uh, almond pucky, strawberry pucky, and some onion ring chips. Dropped it. Um, but yeah, that was super awesome. If you guys are in the area, definitely check them out. Let me know I sent you. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have an amazing morning and an amazing day. Um, but I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise i've got clothing prints and stickers all up on there and make sure to check out my social media my facebook page um, i do a lot of live streaming and on my instagram page i do a lot of giveaways and on my twitter page i also give a shout out to where i might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey okay and then check out my other videos and again make sure you subscribe thank you so much for watching guys see you next time bye bye